Servo Mechanism 2.0. Yep, here we go. Uh, this video will serve as a how-to for those of you who were able to get in on this first run of these guys. And uh, for everyone else, it'll show you the updates from the previous version. So this is the actual mechanism itself. Uh, the main change that I did was to move the servo over to one side. This allows me to use the included nylon servo horn uh, that that's comes with the servo. Uh, and that directly now fits into the right arm and is actually screwed in there with a little metal screw. Uh, so this is no potential for slippage at all. Um, it also has four mounting holes uh, so that you can put uh, screws directly into the forehead tab of your helmet if you want. And this uh, side now has this new little... Uh, shaft with a knob on the end that kind of locks in. And once you secure this to the underside of the uh, forehead tab, well that'll just be locked right in there. No problem. Uh, this has a bit of, uh, it's a limited range, but that does permit the uh, faceplate to move as, uh, as required to fit on top of the helmet. And um, so you mount it on this on the inside. Uh, generally what I do is I turn the helmet upside down, I use a a bit of tape to secure the faceplate to the helmet and then uh, just place this so that it fits nicely this part on the forehead tab and this part against the inside of your uh, faceplate and then you'll get the perfect spot for that now you can hot glue it in uh, you can like I said you can screw some holes in there whatever you want to do um, and then you can use some double-sided tape on this you can hot glue it's up to you uh, regardless this comes with every package that I sell the uh, servo only, servo with lights, or the complete package. Uh, if you go with the servo with lights, uh, this is the circuit board here. You've seen this probably before. Um, this center board, this mounts in the center somewhere, and uh, I usually put the JST uh, facing the faceplate. So faceplate's here. Uh, this is where this would go. And actually, this uh, servo mechanism also has this hole in the center, which uh, you can slide the JST plug for the uh, eyes right through, which will lead back up into the helmet where the uh, main board is. So uh, there's four LEDs on these now. Um, if you got the lenses that come with this, uh, they have four slots for these LEDs and uh, it fully illuminates uh, any, any type of lens that you've got. Uh, for this part here, if you got it, you got a LiPo battery. It is des designated just for the uh, eye LEDs. So you can just pop that in there. And you'll also get then a uh, USB cable and a LiPo battery charger to recharge it. Um, so that's for the lights. Now if you get just a servo only package, this is what you're going to be ending up with. Uh, this is a, a different board than before and it's just to mount the Arduino and servo, uh, or sorry, accelerometer onto. The servo itself uh, connects to these three prongs and there's little markings there, uh, it says plus, minus. Uh, so that's the only ones you need to know, just make sure that the okay, plus is in the middle, that's fine, black is the minus, and then yellow is the one that's not labeled there. Um, so that's it, so you just plug it on there, no problem. When you are trying to attach it inside your helmet, uh, it's important to make sure that um, the front and back of the helmet goes this way. So faceplate could be here, okay? Uh, and that's, that's um, to make sure that the tilt is registered properly. So I would attach it so that this part is on the like facing the top of your helmet and you have access to this because the, the switch to uh, power is uh, this little guy right here. It's really tiny, okay? Um, so I would I would recommend making that facing your head, um, and then yeah we use uh, four AA batteries now. So this is to get six volts to power the servo. It gets a lot stronger, um, and and yeah it's a little bit bigger and you can't recharge them, but the payoff is is much better for the the amount of strength that this has uh, uh, going into the servo now. So that's it for the servo only. If you got the LEDs uh, for the eyes, they plug into this little JST, uh, and that's that's it. So. Pretty, pretty simple setup. That's it for the servo only. If you got the complete package, uh, there's a lot more going on here, okay? Still the Arduino, still the accelerometer, and still facing um, front back this way, okay? And you'll know that, again, this JST, this is for the eyes, okay? Uh, that faces the front of your helmet. So, uh, same with servo, in this case, plugs over here. Now, on this board, though, 
you'll notice that the metal tongs were upwards, uh, facing up. In this case, they'll be this way. And the markings on there underneath the, the things as well, it says plus minus, so you don't mix that up, okay? Audio amplifier for the um, SparkFun sound module and the SD card, uh, micro SD, comes included with the custom sound effects on it already. Uh, your speaker, this uh, nice uh, 50 millimeter speaker here, um, is connected very securely through these holes. And um, that's basically it. Your power switch and the AA batteries as well. So that's, there's not much to it. That's, that's all you need for this guy. Um, <clears throat> if you have any issues installing this, of course, as always, um, fire me a message. But uh, be sure to check out this link right here if you want to see this whole unit actually installed in a helmet. Uh, it turned out pretty nice. So check that out and uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the changes, the updates. And uh, for those of you who got it, uh, please be uh, feel free to f leave some feedback on my webpage or on here on this channel. Thanks so much and uh, more to come.